<clears throat> All right, guys. This is uh, Dennis here with another tutorial. This time, I'm gonna do three first aid kit tutorials. Um, we had reason to do three first aid kit songs for a uh, for a wedding not long ago, and I thought uh, since I had to learn them for the wedding, might as well just um, see if uh, I can pass that experience on to someone else who wants to know it. I'm doing this tutorial in English today, as it is an English uh, speaking song, as it were. Alright, um, first aid kit song number one is The Lion's Roar. And um, we do that in A minor, uh, open for chords here. So as usual with these songs, kind of just gonna establish a, a good groove. And we do that by... Um, doing the chords and the chord progression is uh, A minor C and then G and then back to A minor right uh, so I'm gonna just go through the structure as I go through the tutorial so we start with the intro um, strumming pattern is uh, as follows Okay? So... So if you have uh, problems with this, just uh, sit and kind of strum it without doing the chords first. And then bring in the chords. What I'm doing with the bass note here is um, on the A minor chord progression, we have the pinky here uh, free to kind of uh, do what we want with it and we put that on the E string on the 3rd fret, this is the G alright, so without moving the chord and if you can, if you have enough strength in your hands um, pr preferably you bend the note slightly and do a little kind of a tremolo with the A minor. So, strum pattern, the G note, and the C, and we hammer on on those, we hammer on on the A minor, do a little, just to color the chord a little bit, and do the same on the C. Just use your uh, index finger for that, so. So yeah, I just noticed that I'm doing the... on the C, I'm also using the index finger and the little finger. Yeah? Um, so that's the, the intro with the verses, slightly different strumming patterns uh, down and then do the up stroke motion instead All right. and then you repeat that again Okay, and for the chorus, <clears throat> we're gonna go into an F, right? And we're doing the simple F, not the, uh, the bar F. And then a C, and G, and then back to A minor, right? And repeat F, C, G, and A minor. Um, and then you repeat again. So, um, the first time it comes around, they say, and I'm a goddamn coward, right? So, and I'm a goddamn coward, and again, so are you. And the light will rise, get me sick for you. And then the F, and I'm a goddamn coward, and then they hold that note. 
G, right? And then kind of let that ring out. And then on the beat, you come back in. What to do? And then we're back into this little interlude. I realized I didn't, um, I forgot to show you that one little, little twiddle thing there, right? Uh, after you've done that, and then the C, right? To get back from the G to the A minor, um, just pick on the, right? From the, uh, the E string here and the A string. So um, we have from the G, a little bit actually, I'll keep going, um, and then the D string as well. Alright? So practice that one. And then there's the next verse, which is slightly different from the first verse. Uh, remember the upstrokes for the verse? Now the slightly different bit comes along. And you go A minor, C, and then on the G, and then just repeat that last bit again. A minor, C, right? This bit again, and a second chorus. chorus bit, right? And every once in a while I'll sing a song for you That will rest above the mountains and stars and the seas And if I wanted it to Right? And then she just holds that note for as long as she wants to sing um, and let that ring out If I wanted it to, it will lead me back Right? And on the beat you come back again. Lead me back to you. And the final lines roar chorus and lions roar. It's just you let the chord ring out. The lions roar. Same chords though. It's something that I have heard before. And then Oh, you kind of slow down the, um, the song a little bit. Oh, and when you've done that, you 
kind of diminish the song, this tempo a little bit there. You should just end that with an A minor chord. Uh, just opted to do it down here on the on the bar. You can just pick the strings one at one at a time, right? Or create your own little pattern. And then you kind of back in again, and then you just kind of outro it with the same intro chords. I want two, three. Yeah. And end it with a G note here. It's as simple as that. So yeah, good luck. Go home. Practice. Make perfect. Thank you. I'm Dennis. See you soon.